Hey everyone and welcome back to Frankie's Cantonese Book Reviews. The Cantonese book and our product I'm going to be reviewing today is Picture Cards of Trendy Expressions in Hong Kong Cantonese, Volume 1. Hong Kong Chiu Yu Hok Zap Zi Kat, Volume 1. Now these were released back in 2008 and they retail for 75 Hong Kong dollars. All of these cards are made by So Jun Jun. So Jun Jun is a, I think he's a teacher in Hong Kong. So as I said, these cards came out back in 2008, and I've been looking for them since they came out. They were really hard for me to find. Um, when I went back to Hong Kong in 2010, 2012, I couldn't find them anywhere. I had friends looking for me, they couldn't find them either. So in desperation, I posted on my Facebook page that I was looking for these cards, and thankfully someone responded, said they were willing to sell me their set. I sent them some money, they sent me the cards, and so there you have it. Um, for those of you who have been watching my Cantonese book review videos, you'll notice that I did a review for Volume 2 of this set of cards. Now. What's the difference between Volume 1 and Volume 2? Well, Volume 1, you know, obviously has 42 expressions, and then Volume 2 also has 42 different expressions. But um, the main difference is that Volume 2 comes with a, a game board, some game pieces, and some dice. So I guess you could play some sort of board game with the cards. I'm not really interested in that, but you can. And if, for those of you who are interested, you can click on uh, this guy right here, and you can take a look at my review for um, these uh, slang cards, Volume 2, on YouTube click here okay so um, basically the cards come in a box like this when you open up the box you know all the cards are inside and it also comes with this little booklet volume 2 also comes with this booklet like this it's um, very nostalgic for Hong Kong people because it looks like a little testing booklet that they would use when they were in uh, primary school or secondary school in Hong Kong on the booklet it says Hong Kong Chu Yu School which means Hong Kong slang school and then name class and seat number so it's very nostalgic um, for us in the United States we also use something similar um, but only when we're in like elementary school basically when you took a test and you would do your essays it would be in a booklet like this pretty sure ours were blue but anyway and so inside the booklet you have um, all the entries that are on the cards. You have like a little Chinese character that you can you know, practice by drawing out and then you have an explanation of what the character means and I guess where it came from or the phrase. And there's one for each, you know, each expression um, in, on the cards. This one here is song, it means crazy. So um, yeah, and then there's, like I said, there's one for each, each expression. See this one has two, some of them have three. Yeah, see this one here has three. This one here is my favorite. My fave uh, sounds like my favorite in English. It's a loan, kind of like a loan word from English to Chinese. The paper that's used in the book is uh, it's it's nice. It's like one side is like uh, waxy and the other side is kind of rough. So it's not really wax paper, but it's kind of like wax paper. I would say it's pretty good. And that's basically it. In the end of the book, they have a uh, description of the uh, Jute Ping Chinese uh, Jute Ping Cantonese romanization system. So for those of you who are unfamiliar. Um, you can you know take a look and see how to pronounce these words in Cantonese. So let me show you how the cards look. Basically, on the card you have a picture, and then you have the Chinese characters, and then the romanization underneath. So you have uh, you know this one here is chui sui, which means blow water, and you have some people blowing on a boat that's in the water. And then when you turn the card over, you have the uh, the Chinese characters again, and then you have a direct English translation that's in parentheses. And this particular card has two definitions in Chinese, an English definition, and then two examples in Cantonese. If we can get it to focus, you might be able to read it. I should probably put my camera on manual focus, but it's not really working. Anyway, so this particular card. Chai sui is a very common and popular expression in Cantonese. What it means, it means to blow water, but what it actually means is to chat or to talk nonsense. So think of it like you're full of hot air and you just keep spewing out hot air, just talking bullshit, talking nonsense. So uh, an example would be, you know, if your friend keeps talking and just never shuts up and just keeps talking all this bullshit, you can just be like, shut up, stop talking all this nonsense. Mm ho, which means don't. Mm ho, chai gum do sui a lei. Don't blow so much water, you. Um, means like, st you know, stop talking nonsense, you, you, you piece of crap. <laughs> um, let's find another one that's useful. Here's another one that's really good. This one here. Fong fei ge. Fong fei ge. Fong means to release. Fei ge means airplane. To release airplane. Um, what does it mean? It actually means to fail to turn up for a, for a date, according to the back of the card. To fail to turn up for a date. What does it really mean? It means like you made plans with someone and you just don't show up. So it means like, you know, you held the airplane and then at the last minute you let go and it went, you know, 
And so you basically just didn't show up. You ditched somebody, you know? Uh, yeah, so that's also a very useful expression in Cantonese. And usually they, they, after the verb, which is release, they usually, you know, add in something. So for example, like, ne you fong o, you release my airplane. Ne fong o feike, ne fong o feike, it means like you ditched me. You, you know, you, you left me hanging, you, you know, you left me there, you know, high and dry, basically. Another really useful expression. Uh, here's another one that I like. This one here. Sao pei, sao pei. According to the card, it is an insulting way of expressing contempt for someone telling them to leave. What it literally means is to, um, this one here says to receive skin. Um, yeah, uh, it basically someone is just, you know, it means someone's like bothering you and you want them to get the hell out of here. So basically get the fuck out of here, you know, get away from me. means like get the hell out of here, just like, you know, get away from me, don't bother me. Um, and it can be just said on its own. So if someone's bothering you, you can just say, Sao pei la! And they'll be like, okay. <laughs> and they'll leave. But anyway, so that is basically the uh, picture cards of trendy expressions in Hong Kong Cantonese Volume 1. For those of you that are interested in these cards, you can click a link in the description and it will link you to all the cards you can view online for free because finding the set of these cards is very, very difficult. Even if you could find them, I mean, if you want to buy them, you know, you could but they, they, they're not exempt, they're not you know, available online. The author also has a Facebook page, which I'm gonna put in the link to the description. They also post little comics and also little you know, different things that teach Hong Kong slang. So um, for those of you that are interested, please click um, in the description and you can see all the different information that's in, in the description down there. So thank you for watching the video. Um, please give me a thumbs up and uh, post a comment if you have any questions. If you have any, you know, if you want to support me, post a comment. Um, you can also go to my Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash Frankie P fan page. You can post comments, likes, dislikes, or whatever on the page, and I will answer them whenever I have time. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.